drawing friends! Welcome back to Joss's Kids Draw. I'm Joss, and today I'm going to teach you how to draw color and shade in the sunglasses emoji. For this, you'll need some paper, something to draw with, and something to color with. But anything will work. I'll be using some computer paper to draw on, a black pencil crayon to draw with, and my Prismacolor Premier Colored Pencils to color with. Now, I'm going to be using the colors Canary Yellow, Spanish Orange, Tuscan Red, oh, <laughs> and Black. Now, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and press the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And now, let's get right on into drawing. If you don't have your drawing supplies ready yet, make sure you pause the video and go get them. Also, make sure you have something underneath your drawing so that you don't get anything on your table. Now, first things first, we are going to be drawing a big circle in the middle of our page. Now, you can use something to trace the circle or you can just try drawing it freehand. Now, if you try drawing it freehand, your circle doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna be drawing it without tracing and my circle definitely won't be perfect and that's fine. So I'm gonna be going right here. I'm gonna be drawing big circle. Just like that. Now, if you're ha still having trouble drawing your circle, then you can always try doing this. So, to help you draw a circle, you can draw four dots. So, you can draw a dot up at the top of your page. over to the right, at the bottom, and to the left. Now you can use these to help you draw a circle. So you can start down here and then curve it up to meet that dot. Then you can curve over to your top dot and then curve to the next dot, and then down, back. So this can help you draw a circle if you're still having trouble. Once you have your circle done, it's time to add the details. Now first, we're gonna be drawing our sunglasses. So I'm gonna be going on to the left side of our emoji, and I'm gonna be drawing a C shape, just like that. So this is gonna be for the edge of the sunglasses. Now I'm gonna take that C shape, I'm gonna continue it into a straight line across till we're about halfway through our circle. Now it doesn't have to be perfectly halfway. If not, that's fine. Just try your best. Now once we get about halfway, we're gonna do a little diagonal line down, just like that, then curve it back up to make a little U shape in our center. Now, I'm gonna take that U shape, I'm gonna continue it onto a straight line across. Now, once I reach the end, I'm gonna do a backwards C shape for our other end of our glasses. Now it's time to draw the lens part of it. So, I'm gonna go on the bottom of our C shape and I'm going to be drawing a big U. So I'm going to be doing a big U, then back up at our halfway point. Now I'm going to do a little upside down U and do the same thing. A big U that connects back up to our C shape. Great, now inside of our shape here, we're gonna be drawing the lenses of the sunglasses. 
And those are the parts that you see through. So we're gonna be doing a very similar shape that we did already. So right here, I'm gonna be drawing a horizontal line. So that's a line that goes side to side. I'm gonna be drawing that right there. And it's not gonna go all the way across. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna draw a horizontal line just like that. Now to finish off our lenses, I'm gonna be doing a big U shape that connects both ends here. So a big U that connects back in. Big U that connects back in. Now to finish off the drawing part, we need to draw the smiley face. So I'm gonna be going down here and I'm gonna draw a long curved line. Just like that. It already looks like a smiley face, but we need to add another line underneath so that it's a wide open smile. So I'm gonna go to the edge here. I'm gonna draw the same long curve, connect it back in. So you can leave your drawing just like this, or you can color it in however you want to color it in, or you can color it in the same way I'm coloring mine in. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm going to be using my Prismacolor Premier colored pencils to color with. So I'm going to be, I'm going to first be going in with Canary Yellow, and I'm going to be coloring in not the sunglasses or the smile, but everything else inside of our emoji. Now, I will be fast forwarding this, but if you want, you can pause the video, do the coloring, and then press play once you're ready. Great! Now, next, I'm going to be going in with Tuscan Red, and I'm going to be coloring in our smiley face here. Now, like the last time, I will be fast forwarding this, but you can pause the video if you want to. Super! Now, for the next corn step, I'm gonna be going in with black. So I'm gonna be coloring in the outside for sunglasses, black. Now, I'm not gonna be coloring in the lenses quite yet. Like the last two times, I will be fast forwarding this, but you can pause the video until you're ready. Awesome. Now this is all I'm gonna be doing for the coloring, but I will be doing the lenses in the shading step. Now if you're not gonna be shading in your emoji, you can just color it in completely black. But if you are doing the shading, here's how you'll be doing it. So, the first step of the shading, I'm going to be going in with black, and I'm just going to be lightly coloring in the lenses of the glasses. Just so they're like a dark gray or a really light faded black. Now, you can color this in just with a gray marker, pencil crayon, or crayon, whatever coloring supply you're using, or you can go lightly in with a black, whatever you think works best. Now, for the final shading step, I'm going to be going in with Spanish orange. And I'm just going to be going along the edge of our emoji. So I'm just doing this all the way around and just on the very edge, just a ring of Spanish orange. So this is sort of a dark yellow or a light orange color. In case you don't have Prismacolors but you still want to do it. Same color. And there we go. If you liked this video, make sure you share it to a friend so that they can draw the sunglasses emoji too. And if you want to show me your drawing, ask your parent or a teacher to email me a picture to jossiskidsdraw at gmail.com. And if your drawing doesn't look like mine, that's fine. Being unique is great.
And as long as you had fun, that's what matters most. And remember, if you keep practicing, it'll pay off. So make sure you check out my last video, how to draw a basketball net. And stay tuned because there will be more videos coming really, really soon. So I'll see you guys next time and keep on drawing till then. Bye.